people. This week on The Late Show, Ben's 11.30 guest is Emily Cook, who runs Real Vision Film Solutions, a video marketing company based here on the island. Tonight we're going to hear more about Man in Shorts, a project to enhance filmmaking skills on the island which Emily is involved with. So let's begin by finding out what the scheme is all about. Man in Shorts is a filmmaking scheme that has been set up to provide opportunities not just to young people on the Isle of Man, but people of any age. A lot of the time opportunities like this are under 25s or under 18s, but actually this opens up opportunities to everybody. It is great, actually, isn't it? Because people might not have had the chance when they were younger but still harbour that creative desire when it comes to filmmaking. So the fact that it's open to yeah. any age group can only be a good thing. Exactly, and anybody can turn up and get involved. They're bringing over f- some fantastic people. Danny Stack has just been over this weekend, who's a, a script writer. Chris Jones, the author of the Guerrilla Filmmakers Handbook, he's going to be coming over in a few months. And we've also had Danny Lacey, who's been over, mm. um, who's a film producer who has about four films in post-production all at the moment, which is epic. I follow Danny on Facebook and he's always busy doing something, isn't he? He's got loads up in the air at the moment. Yes. So how beneficial is it then, do you think, for people here on the island with that interest to actually hear from people involved within the industry, people who are there at the coalface? Oh, it's so very important, especially on the Isle of Man, where we've got so many things that can potentially cut us off by having Man in Shorts bringing these experts in their fields over from the UK, it's just so valuable. It really is. And that kind of training is often free because the events have been funded a lot of the time by poker stars and also some funding has been given from the Arts Council. So it has been possible for it to be free and open to everybody. You know, all you have to do to attend a workshop is if it's limited in attendance numbers is send an email saying I'm really interested because and you can get this amazing access to these incredible experts in their field that just you couldn't get other places and would be oversubscribed in the UK. And Dave and Christy they've been making films here on the island for many years now and Ghost Girl is the one that I see sort of on the internet that's their their big thing at the moment they launched that last year if I remember rightly. Yes they did. Ghost Girl's fantastic film completely crewed by um, Manx people all of it shot on the Isle of Man fantastically acted, incredibly directed, you know, Dave Armstrong's done a fantastic job on that. So with the film industry on the Isle of Man, as we know, over the last sort of 15, 20 years, some big movies have come over here to be shot, but with something like Man in Shorts, it actually gives people a credible, real opportunity to get involved as opposed to something like some of the bigger films, which might be a bit unreachable, really, and harder to get involved with. Yes, and the level of involvement with Man in Shorts, you you get involved right at the grassroots of it, and your input is so important it's not like on a larger film where yes everybody's role is important but there's such a sense of a tight-knit group creating these films and you form very close bonds with the rest of the crew and what you do on set or what you don't do really really matters but also it's not a pressured environment it's an environment about cultivating filmmakers and it's an environment about learning And with something like this, it's hard work, isn't it? Very rewarding, but hard work. And I think some people think it's all a bit glamorous, don't they? But actually, I'm sure you can say that. It's not glamorous all the time. No, it's not glamorous all the time. (laughs) Um, It's fun because it's varied. It's challenging, and that has plenty of merits just in having a varied and challenging process to go through, really. I think anybody slightly interested in theatre, acting production, films, anything like that, even if they don't know which role they would like to explore, Manning Shorts provides that platform for anybody to get involved and and really learn about filmmaking. Brilliant stuff. We'll give you some of the contact details for that in uh, just a couple of moments. But Emily, I've got to ask you, we know you're so busy, but do you yourself enjoy sitting down and and watching films? I do. Some of the the songs that you've asked me to choose this week have actually been based on films that I like or are soundtracks from films. Is there one particular genre or any kind of movie that really sticks out for you as a bit of a favourite? I love film noirs and when I was at university I actually got to study quite a few that people haven't necessarily heard of because they're slightly older, um, like The Man Who Wasn't There. Also, 
Double Indemnity, the the original one. Absolutely f- fascinating films. When you're watching a movie, are you able to completely relax and switch off, or do you sit there thinking, well, that's how they would have done that shot, or they've not lit that very well? Are you always kind of analysing from a technical behind the camera point of view? Well, some people say that if a film is done well, that you can switch off and enjoy it. Maybe I'm not normal there because <laughs> I, I I still struggle even with the best films. Um, the most convincing storylines, I, I do still struggle. I can enjoy them, but I do think about angles and, and think, oh, how did they do that? And, you know, it's kind of built into me. Film is what I, I love, so... Absolutely, it's always there, isn't it? Yes. Well, we'll continue chatting to you tomorrow night, Emily, because the clock has beaten us this evening. Let's get to your choice of music tonight because you are choosing some of your favourite songs for us every night this week. And you've gone this evening for Pendulum. Tell us more. Yes, I've chosen Pendulum, a song by them called Slam. I've chosen it because I filmed Pendulum, I think, last month at the courthouse. It was just really great and I I love to be able to be at events and film and promote events in that way because obviously it opens up not just the event to the people who attended but by having a video, once you've shot that, you've got it Mm. then to get out there and everybody Mm. can, can see the event you put on and how well it went and the personality you brought over to the island for that event.